Let me explain why the CGI in She-Hulk looks really bad. And no, it's not because of a TV show having a lower budget compared to a feature film. I mean, the same Hulk looks really good in this show. So, a lot of people are asking me about the CGI quality in She-Hulk. And because honestly, it kind of looks like it was rendered on a PlayStation 4, which is especially bad considering that they also made Thanos, which looks really good for two Avenger movies. Now here's the thing, a lot of people say that She-Hulk looks really bad because it has a TV budget, but that's not the case. I mean, 15 to 25 million dollar per episode is still a lot of money, but the real reason is that this is an artistic and technological limitation. That means you just can't throw a lot of money to the show to make it look good. What we've seen here is actually a limitation of our contemporary art and technology in 3D animation. And to show you why that is, let me take you through a quick journey through a short history of making 3D realistic human, or humanoid character. And in the end of this video, I'll show you how we can achieve a hyper-realistic good-looking She-Hulk. 